I wish I could play better, that's all. Alright, let's check this out. it's going to sound like because the line six is pointing that way and it's just a little 15 watt might sound good might sound like crap we'll find out won't we um so there you go man uh nam was just crazy there was so many bands and tributes and i didn't see one of them <laughs> i didn't want to i grabbed that one shirt i grabbed a few things and i got out of there I'm like, ah, this is too much, and I couldn't find the guy that, you know, left me the pass, so I, that sucked. So, uh, that, which is exactly what happened last time I went to NAMM with uh, my friend Ruben, who I'm playing, got the 
Randy Rhodes tribute band back together with Ruben and Joaquin, the guy that's in Rat, and Stephen Piercy's band. Me on bass. And we're looking for an Aussie in California. Because our original guy is going to do a show or two, but he lives in Utah. So if anybody out there lives in Southern California and sounds like Ozzy, and it would help if you kind of look like him, but we can make you look like him. Got wigs and stuff. If you can sound like him and move like him, or get in touch with me. Because we got the band is killer. This guitar player, um, you will crap your pants when you hear this guy. He's really good. Really, really good. There's we got I got a rehearsal tape on uh, just look it up. Blizzard, the original Randy Rhodes tribute. It's up there. Check it out, man. The guy's really good. And subscribe. Keep subscribing. I'm stalled out at 670. It was up to 672, and then I'm bound to 670. Come on! Subscribe! Thank you, guys, man. For all you guys that do comment and do all that crap, thanks, man. Keep it up. I appreciate it. Later! Oh, one thing I wanted to show you. Before we depart, I want you to see my guitar case for this guitar because that right there will it's kind of a story in itself really I mean it's cool let's unplug Beep. you should be getting some kind of a uh, sound but not sound but here we go here's the original case I had to order this custom but look at all these friggin uh, Stickers, a lot of KMET, KLOS, my Marshall sticker, which they gave me when I bought that head, or the half stack. Judas Priest sticker, our original old UFO, friggin' Maiden, went and saw them at Long Beach, friggin' just ruled. I don't know what backstage pass it was for, but it was something, of course, Maiden, Party Animal. KLOS, KMET, those are two big stations before KNEC. And you can see that was my KNEC sticker, and it's gone. But uh, And I had a trick-or-treat sticker on here somewhere. And you look in it, it's just giant, but it's still in perfect, beautiful condition. I'd sleep in this thing if I could. It's really nice. There's my strap, which is kind of a takeoff on Eddie's strap for the shark. I should, I should just put that on the shark. But see, check this out, man. This thing has seen a lot. of been thrown in a lot of trucks, and it's seen a lot of things. When I was in London, the band London, for like a week and a half, or not even that, like half a week. It was me and the drummer from uh, Cinderella. He was drumming. And I went down and auditioned, and they, yeah, and I, pl I played with them, but I think uh, Lizzie, Lizzie Gray was a little, uh, he was under the influence of something, and he didn't really, he just sat there on his amp and just stared. So me and whatever that guy's name is, the drummer from Cinderella, we jammed for like two or three days down in this studio, and... And that was it. I quit. I said, "This, I gotta go, man. <laughs> I got stuff to do, like make it. But, uh, there you go. Uh, that's that, man. Uh, got nothing else to really show you. Sorry. So I hope you like this uh, video, and uh, if not, uh, there you go. Subscribe though, right there, or just just hit the button, boop, and and keep watching. That's this is gonna be long. I'm gonna have to cut it up. See ya.